pushing me, so obviously I just told him my name. And <laughs> you can just look them in the face and not hit me. Just don't say nothing to them. Exactly. What you remember? What you want. All right. Let's just remember, Baba Dule. Yeah. Let's remember, Baba Dule. It's illegal for somebody to ask you about your um your uh, medical health, your medical history, under the Freedom of Inf the Privacy of Information Act. So, or data protection. So it is not allowed for officers to say, well, prove it, prove it that you've got uh, uh, chronic PTSD. Prove it that you got anxiety. Prove it that you struggle to breathe. Prove it that like, or any other one, because there's loads of reasons. I am not comfortable, yeah, um, uh, covering my mouth. That's it, that's it. I've, I've had a uh, previous experience, which leads me to feel seriously <coughs> uncomfortable when covering my mouth. End of. I you, don't was have to, you don't have to have a medical card to say, oh, I'm falling apart. Just like, you got to have the, the will to make a bit of effort. Just to say, I'm doing it. Hey, people you know, must jump out of the way when they see you, man. Big up, Shani. You know, uh, you know what this subject, yeah? I'm kind of like, uh, I want to just quickly talk about it. I can't stay too long. I'm so sorry. I'm still not feeling great. But, um, Basically, yeah, uh, I actually comply, but I don't comply because I'm scared or anything. I just do it, like, and for me, even pre-COVID pre, uh, and whatever, I'm very much like a germaphobe, so wearing a mask kind of is like, yay, for me, <laughs> like, and I just feel like I just, I feel more cleaner, <laughs> but... Another, oh. another person that don't give a fuck about science, and how... <laughs> And how, often, <laughs> and, how, and how often do you change your mask, sis? Oh, all the time. I've got literally a big box of like a hundred disposable free layer masks and stuff. The blue ones. The blue ones. So, yeah. But the thing is, I understand. But the, uh, this is the thing. I understand the mask. But, no, I, but I do understand. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? You know they're from fiber glass, right? Okay, that's fine. But but what I'm saying yeah, is, yeah, like, <laughs> for, for me, it's not even a case of. Like I just comply, like I'm, and also at the yeah, same time, this conversation. Sad to hear you say that, man. Mm. Yeah, are you, but, hoping, but, but are you hoping that your child just complies too? No, but this is, this is the thing. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. Because until other people are stand up to do something, then I'm going to stand up. To be honest with you, and that's how I feel about the mask. If I don't want to wear the mask, I'm not going to wear it. That's how. I, if I'm in a supermarket, good, good I get. Good question. good question. You, you're waiting yeah. for other people to stand up before you do, right? I'm saying if there's gonna yeah. if people are protesting, yeah, I'm gonna be like, yeah, cool, I'm a part of that. But at the moment, if I don't wanna wear the mask, then I'm not gonna wear it. And I'm, that's how it is. If I'm in a supermarket, I, I don't feel like wearing a mask. One second, if I'm in a supermarket, I don't feel like wearing a mask, I'm not wearing a mask. Yeah, okay, that's wait, it. you're confusing me though, um, Shani. Are you complaining or are you, are you against it? I'm against it. I just think like I'm a listen to fit this up there. Wait, wait, one second. Oh, if you're against fine. it, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, because I think the way that you've dropped it is kind of. If you're against it, why are you? Why do you comply? What? This, I'm, I'm saying I comply, don't I? But I don't. I don't think I'd like this. Is the thing. It's just more a case of like, if I go into the store and I've got a mask with me, I might just put the mask on. If I don't feel like I want to wear the mask, mm. I'm not going to wear the mask. It, it's oh yeah, but that, that sounded like hypothetical. Yeah, no, if I come into your house, if oh, I come into your house and you Nattie, tell me to take off your shoes, yeah, question, I'll take Nattie, off my Nattie, shoes. Nay, nay. One last question, quickly. Yeah, um, you're saying if you feel like if you got, are you saying that you actually go into the shops and feel like not wearing a mask or don't wear it, or are well, you saying? Yeah, while I'm walking around. So, what, so the thing is, I put the mask on to go you, in the shop, right? Yeah. If I go yeah. shopping, if I go Tesco or something, I put the mask on. I might be three minutes into my my shopping and I'll take the mask off because I can't breathe. It's too much. I can't. Like, I'm not getting enough oxygen. I don't. I feel cost. I feel sweaty. Like all that. So I take it off and I feel no way about it. Do you know what I'm saying? Because at the same time, if anyone did say to anything to me, it's not even about saying I'm exempt. I'm thinking like, well, you're all wearing masks. So well, you're, the mask you're, making yourself, you're making yourself. Um, you putting yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. True. I see how you're doing that. Yeah, just by wearing the mask in the first place and then taking it off. You are actually like um, proving that you're not exempt and liable to whatever fine or penalty will be given out. If you've been seen to put wear a mask, you won't be able to say, "Oh, well, I'm exempt," because they'd be like, "Well, you wore one when you walked in." 
which someone that was exempt wouldn't be wearing one. I would, I would still, so I, would I would still, I would suggest, just, I would suggest, if you've got that attitude, just don't wear it then, hey, so, like, do you know what I mean? Next time. You but you know what it is? Go on. It's also, so this is the thing, so it, like, it's it's a weird one, if I'm being, I'm being honest about it, because I'm like, that's why I come on, because I just wanted to, I have like this weird view about it, because I understand Obviously, you're breathing in your own carbon dioxide. It's not good for you to wear the mask. This, it's like, I don't get people wearing masks in cars and all this kind of stuff. It don't make no sense, right? I don't see why people wear masks walking down the street. That's just madness. Like, why not breathe the oxygen? Like, it's crazy. But when yeah, I'm in that, like a confined space, yeah, yeah, yeah. when I'm in a confined space like a store or something, it's just, it's like I'm more you susceptible to the germs around me. Do you, huh? do you want to do you want to go through the science of of masks? Do you do you want to actually look it up? Should we actually? No, I I do know about it, but yeah, we okay. can do that for now. Yeah, but I do know about. I know they don't work. Like I know they don't, and I know you need to you these like blue masks. You actually need more face coverings and stuff like that on top of them to for them to be actually effective. But even at that, you're still not getting enough oxygen. This is why doctors and nurses are getting ill whilst wearing the face mask. How are they catching COVID, but yet they're all masked up? It's just, it is what it is. And I feel, honestly, you're going to catch it if you catch it. But for me, I I do, I wear it just in case. I feel it's just a just in case thing. Like, just in case. I've got vulnerable people. I'm vulnerable myself. And I'm just like, just in case. But to be Daddy, honest with you, I'm not going out anywhere. I think what you need to do, yeah, I mean, you got probably got uh, uh, loads of other things that are going on right now, but if you can, like, just do the research, which is going to give you that extra piece of confidence hey. to say, to, to to not worry about that just in case. Just, just arm yourself with more, knowledge will give you the confidence. All this chatting and no one's going to speak to you into it. You're going to have to come across some information that, like, or you, that, like and it's not going to be hard. If you're worried yeah. about the more, I feel that there's enough uh, information out there about masks and exactly what percentage. I think I'd have um, to convince my husband, if I'm being honest with you. I think again? I'd have to. Con I think I would have to convince my husband not to wear a mask. He very much wants me to wear a mask because I'm vulnerable. So he's kind of like worried about me catching corona, and he's worried about him um, with his work because he interacts with people all the time catching corona himself. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's trying to convince him that wearing a mask is not going to be do you know what I'm saying as well he's not caught corona yeah and he's been working with people for the whole year in different countries and all sorts right no in, in just this country but he's been wearing a mask though right so is he thinking that he hasn't caught corona because he's been wearing a mask and ha sanitizes his hands and washes his hands yeah yeah awesome, uh, honestly, uh, and the thing is as well to keep to keep with that he is foreign, so I feel there's a bit of asp like he, I, d I don't know like the information he gets is obviously English information, right? So I don't know, I don't know. I think sometimes he just trusts it, and then for me and him, sometimes I argue about wearing the mask and all this kind of stuff because he's always like, "Oh, put the mask on." I'm like, I'm in here for like two seconds, and we have like little tips about the mask. Do you know what I'm saying? Like. Or pissed about hand sanitizing. He's like, sanitize your hands. I'm like, I didn't touch anything in the okay. store. Why am I sanitizing? Okay, so um, Shani, two things. We need to yeah. look into the science of breath, the science of air, respi the respiratory system, and the effects of a face covering long term or for prolonged periods of time, like especially while exerting ourselves. And for some of us, yeah. exerting ourselves could be walking to the shops, walking around the shops, right? Um, so you need to be careful. Obviously, if you are in any kind of vulnerable posi position, like have an autoimmune deficiency, um, are pregnant, have asthma, anything similar, if you've got any of those things or all of them, then then um, obviously there's going to be a lot more fear factor when it comes to you analysing information about breathing. But I need you to separate the fear from reality. And the next thing you need to do, yeah, Oh shit, what was it? Um oh, fuck. Why is it why have I lost it? Research. Yeah, what was it though? Um there you the Research mask. Yeah. Yeah, boom, boom, yeah, I got it now. The next thing you need to do is look at the effects of this hand sanitizer sanitizer 
being um, absorbed by the skin and the chemicals in them and the effects that they can have. Especially, yeah, oh my God. especially if you have any of these, uh, uh, you know, factors that could make you more vulnerable. If you've got any one of the three, one in particular, you should probably be concerned about drowning your hand in this alcoholic yeah. thing. And uh, I've been... Know? I've been arguing about the chemicals. Like that's that's my thing. Right. I always argue about the deodorant being sprayed in the house or any sort of spray and all this like chemical. I can't stand chemicals like that, right? And even my hands through through kind of forcing, you know, kind of just like you know what? He's not going to give up if I don't wear this hand sanitizer. So let me just do it, kind of from that to see to save the peace. My knuckles yeah. are rise right. crocodile. Ashley, yeah, Ashley, Larry. Everyone's got Ashley oh, Larry hands except yeah. for me. I hardly wash my hands. To be honest, I only oh, wash no. my hands. I only wash my hands before I take my wheelie out to do a wee. Do you know what I mean? I'm always, okay, too much information. But I always you wash my hands. Like if I'm but about to touch my wheelie, I might wash my hands. Yeah, but I'm not. I can't hear anything you're saying. So I just <laughs> the only. Thing, like if, I'm, the only if I'm about to go to the yeah, toilet, I might wash my hands. You know what I mean? Okay. But apart from that, and after, toilet, and after the toilet. Washing, Overwashing, um, obviously, is the opposite of how we grew and how we got how humans, how organisms get immunities yes. um, through different viruses or things like that is through exposure, small small doses, whatever, blah blah blah, building up a tolerance, a fam familiarity, you know what I mean, of certain germs and whatnot. So now, if everyone's out there washing their hands, sanitizing, keeping a distance, so they're not obviously viruses are going to pick up. Like this is like the easiest thing to. Now, I, I'm no one. I'm no one and I know nothing. Yeah? This is the easiest thing to see. The more, look, the more antibiotics you put out there, the more resilient the viruses get to antibiotics, the more that we get mashed up by by the diseases. Right? This yeah. is why they say, saying we need to slow down on antibiotics. Now, all of a sudden, they're all pro-vaccines, which is a similar kind of concept. And I'm saying, with all this... All these steps and measures that people are taking to not be in contact, surely this is meaning that we're not being exposed to the to the complex library.